everybody, John Coffey here once again, doing another review from the movies I kind of sped through. I'm also going to review some more movies from my collection, not just the ones I sped through. But this is one of the ones I wanted to talk about more, but I was running out of time. And this is, a uh, I don't remember who directed it. But, uh, it's, a uh, released from Lionsgate, it's Love Object. I heard about this movie... Quite some time ago, people were talking about it, saying it was real good. And it's one of the better movies of uh, of this decade. Now it was just creepy and disturbing. And I was like, I gotta see it. Plus, I knew it was a character study, and I'm a huge fan of character studies. Any movie that has just bases of this movie on one person going crazy, I usually love it, so I bought it. <laughs> and the plot's very simple. You got this guy, Kenneth, I think his name is, and he, uh, He's kind of a strange guy, to say the least. One day, his buddy brings in a... I don't remember what they call it in the movie, but it's a card for basically what it's called. They call it real dolls, which is sex dolls. And uh, he keeps eyeing at it and thinking he wants one. And then all of a sudden, he starts working with this girl, and he starts getting a little obsessed with her. And when he finally orders his, his doll, he ends up making it just like his co-worker. But then he gets really close to the chick he's working with, sure if it says her name here. No, I know his doll's name. Yeah, Lisa. He starts getting really close to Lisa, and his doll's name is Nikki. Nikki. And he gets really close to Lisa, and, uh, all of a sudden, the, the doll, he thinks the doll is starting to, like, stalk him. It's, like, cutting up pictures of Lisa, and it's doing all kinds of crazy things. And it ends on just a big 360. I didn't see the ending coming at all. Some people might. It just depends on what how easily tricked you are by movies. I am easily tricked. But anyways, this movie is really, really cool. I didn't know what to expect. If I didn't know what kind of movie it was going to be. Like, I knew it was a character show, but I didn't know if it was like, a, you know, a killer doll movie only this time. Like a, you know, sex doll instead of a, pretty, like, it's a lot like the movie Magic with Anthony Hopkins. Have you ever seen that? Like, instead of a ventriloquist dummy, it's a, a sex doll. <laughs> but, I mean, it's so cool. The guy that plays Kenneth, does such a good job. And it also has Udo Kier, who's in some movies like Suspiria. He's in a lot of the Andy, what are they called, like, Andy Warhol's Flesh for Frankenstein and stuff like that. And he does, he's really cool. Sometimes I don't like him. Sometimes he's kind of weird, but he plays a really good creepy neighbor. And the doll is real uber scary. Like, if you were a guy thinking having a real doll would be cool, no. Not after you see this movie. It's just weird. <laughs> And it's also one of those movies, you never quite know if it, the doll is alive or if this guy's just out of his mind. And all the acting is real solid. There's not a whole lot of, like, gore-gore, but there's some pretty, like, tense effects stuff towards the end of the movie. And the ending, I, the ending is so good. It's a, it's definitely, like, one of those endings that not only will you not see it coming, but it's so bleak, <laughs> you know, and you're just like, dang. <sighs> you know, it's it's a it's a, a super cool movie, and I, I got it mine for super cheap. And you probably get yours cheap because it came out like 2003. There's a uh, there's some cool features. There's a director commentary, commentary with casting director, casting crew interviews, scrapbook, but uh, the video scrapbook, photo gallery, poster gallery. And it's definitely one of the... I'm not sure if it had a de uh, theater release at all, but I know it's definitely one of the better movies on Lionsgate's direct the dvd line. And I was really shocked. Because I really wanted to see it, and then when I got it, it was like Lionsgate. I was like, oh crap, this is going to suck. Usually Lionsgate's movies are not very good. But this one, this one's great. Ch cover's a little cheesy. Kind of cool. Kind of some small movie. But the acting strong. Cool story. And if you like movies like Magic, or even movies like, I don't want to compare it to stuff like Maniac, but it's kind of that same kind of focusing on one guy going crazy kind of aspect like Maniac has. Recommend it. Highly. Check out Love Object for a fun sleaze fest, really. It's actually pretty sleaze. I wouldn't expect it to be as sleazy as it was for a modern movie, but it's not sleazy like Savage Streets or 
New York Ripper or anything like that, but it's definitely, I mean, it's basically about a guy who wants a sex doll looking like his, you know, co-workers, so, you know, it, it's a little sleazy. It's pretty exploitive. I liked it. Highly recommend it. Check this out. Check my videos out. I'll catch y'all later.